Hi, I'm Mark from Zebra BI and in this release of Zebra BI we have two major announcements. First is that we've improved the functionality of the comment box in both the tables and the charts and the Zebra BI cards are now Power BI certified. We've also added some minor improvements, uh, mainly due to the visibility of the elements on all three visuals. And we've added an option in the top end settings of the tables. So let's jump into the next slide and see what's new in the Zebra BI release. The improved comment box functionality now allows you to customize all the elements of the comment box. So if we take a look at the screen and turn on the comment box, we can now control what part of the visual the comment box represents. So you can just hover over the line between the comment box and the rest of the visual and simply drag and drop to make it bigger or smaller depending on your needs. You can also control all of the elements within the comment box. So if you explore, expand the settings, you will see now you have the options of turning off the titles completely. You can display just a title and the value or display all the possible values. You can also switch between different relative or absolute or both variances within the settings. So you can just click on the drop down menu and switch between those different elements. Maybe let's extend the comment box a little bit and see how it functions. Uh, you can also control the different variance icons. So by default it will be a triangle but you can also switch to a circle or a circle with arrows. And both of these settings can be controlled on the visual itself. So you can just simply click on the labels to switch between the settings and the same can be done for the icons. Next you have complete control over the design. So you can place the comment box even on different areas of the visual. So you can switch between uh, right or left placement, above or below. And if you place it above, of course you want to list the comments accordingly. And you have this option of listing the comments horizontally and then you can control also the padding uh, between uh, the elements of the comments or gap between the comments themselves. So maybe we can increase it in this particular case. We can also add a background color or a drop shadow just by toggling it on or off to visually distinguish the comment box from the rest of the visual. You can also add a border and some radius to uh, give it a smooth edge. Next, if we take a look at the charts, in this particular case, maybe we want to make the comments bigger and, and the change the font sizes. So this is now possible in the new comment box. If we go to the comment box settings, at the end you will find the options for custom title and value fonts. So you can just toggle those on. And as you can see, this is probably a good font size in this particular case. And we can switch also to a different, let's say, a Calibri font in both the titles and the values. We've seen the comment box, but now it's time for the second major announcement. And this is that the Power BI cards are now Microsoft and Power BI certified. What does this mean? This means you can use the cards now across your Power BI stack with all the functionalities unlocked. And we've also added some minor improvements such as uh, improved performance of the rendering of the cards and the cards now also work within Microsoft Teams. One of the new improvements that we've also added to the charts is that now the marker sizing is consistent regardless of the size of the visual. So if we take a look at the screen, if I resize the visual, you can see that the markers will also adjust the sizing. But you can also control this. So if you want to keep the marker size the same, regardless of the size of the visual, you can simply go into the design settings and under the reference marker size, you can now switch to the fixed size and assign fixed size. So in this example, let's say 15. And if I now resize, the size will remain the same. 
Lastly, we've added the top and functionality also into the focus mode. So now you have the option of different settings between the classic top end plus others functionality and the one in the focus mode. So if we take a look, you can access the top end plus others functionality on the tables by right clicking on the category name and turning it on of course. And now you have two different settings. So one is for the edit mode in general, but one for the focus mode. So if we now click it on, you'll see that we have the five elements selected in the normal mode. But if we go into the focus mode, we have the 10 elements. And now in the focus mode, if we decrease or increase the number of elements, this remains consistent even if we go outside. So if we check now the top end plus others, you'll see the adjusted number is assigned. This concludes the latest features in our Zebra BI release. If you want to experience all the possibilities, please go and download the visuals from the Zebra BI uh, website or Microsoft App Source. And for all the latest functionalities and the complete list of uh, the changes go to our changelog on zebrabi.com. And most importantly, keep your reports understandable and actionable.